Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we will be using a JavaScript intersection observer to make content smoothly appear on our website when scrolling. Before we begin, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe. I post coding tutorials every week. I have set up the HTML and most of the styling for this page already. You can download the complete code from my GitHub or CodePen, which I linked in the description below. I am going to begin with defining the CSS rules that are needed for the intersection observer to have an effect. First, I am selecting the H1 and all the paragraphs. I do not want these elements to be visible initially, so I am setting the opacity to zero. I also want to move them further down relative to their original position. I am assigning position relative and bottom minus 40 pixels. Finally, I want to transition both properties, so I am also giving these elements a transition of all 0.8 seconds ease out. Next, I am defining a CSS class with the name show. This class will be applied to each element with the help of the intersection observer. I am giving it an opacity of 1 and a bottom position of 0. That's it for the CSS. Let's do the JavaScript next. I want the code in my JavaScript file to only execute once the page is fully loaded. For this, I am adding an event listener to the window. The event we will be listening for is DOM content loaded. When this happens, I want to call the function with the name setup. Let's create that next. Within the function, I will first set up some options for the intersection observer. I am defining a variable with the name options which will hold an object. Within the object, I am adding one property, the root margin. The default value for this is zero, which means that as soon as the observed element enters the viewport, it immediately executes the function we specify in the observer. You can change this, however. For example, I can set the root margin to 0, 0, minus 200 pixels, 0. This way, the element will only intersect when it reaches 200 pixels above the bottom of the screen. Once this happens, our intersection observer will fire. Next, I will define a variable and assign it a new intersection observer. To this, I need to pass two arguments, a callback and the options which we have defined above. In the callback function, I can tell the observer what I want it to do to each element when they are intersecting. It also takes two arguments, the entries, which represent the elements that are being observed, and the observer itself. We can use a for each loop to specify the actions for each entry. If it is intersecting, I want to apply the class show to the element. To check for this, I can use an if statement and pass entry.intersecting inside. To add the class name, I can then use entry.target.classList.add and then pass the class name inside. Once this class is applied, I no longer want to observe the element, so I'll add observer.unobserve and inside I'll add entry.target. If the element is not intersecting, I don't want to do anything, so I can add a return in the else statement. Now that we have created the intersection observer, we only need to tell it to observe some elements. I'm going to save the h1 into a variable by using document.querySelector. Next, all I need to do is specify observer.observe h1. Now the h1 should appear on page load as it is at the top of the page and immediately in the viewport. Let's do the same for the paragraph. There is more than one of them, so I am going to use query selector all. I also need to pass them all individually to the observer so I can use a for each loop to loop through them. Now, if we look at the page again, you can see how all paragraphs appear from below. One final thing I wanted to show you is how to achieve with only four lines of code that the testimonials come in slightly delayed after each other. I have three divs with the class testimonial, each containing one feedback from a customer. 
I want to add a transition delay of 0.5 seconds to the second and a delay of 1 second to the third. I can do this by selecting the dot testimonials class and using the env of type selector. To select the second one I simply need to pass to as an argument. Then I can select the paragraph which has the class show already applied to it. Inside I can specify the transition delay of 0.5 seconds. I'll do the same to the third one, but I'll change the delay to 1 second. That's it for this project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to reply. I have also linked the complete source code and the official documentation of the Intersection Observer below, so you can check it out if you want to learn more. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time!